the coccygeus muscle can refer pain that is similar to pelvic pain. It can also cause pain into the hamstrings and also into the low back and around into the pelvis. To find this muscle, you need to identify where the piriformis would be. So you're looking for the greater trochanter and you're gonna go in between and the piriformis should be right around this area here. Now, once you've identified the piriformis, you're gonna move a little bit more immediately and you're also gonna move anteriorly. So it's a very small kind of subtle palpation but once again, once you've identified the piriformis, roll down a little bit medially. This is one that you definitely want to communicate with clients and see that they're comfortable. And you could use two fingertips in this area and you're just kind of curling down and in. And you're pressing in that area. And I find that oftentimes there is trigger points in this area and it's one that doesn't get worked on. But if someone does have pelvic pain, this is very worthwhile to work. And as you're in the area, it's very sensitive. So make sure that your touch and your palpation is very sensitive and intuitive. And just wait for a release. For obturator internus, similar to coccygeus, essentially here you have piriformis, then you have coccygeus, and then just a little bit laterally, you have obturator internus. It's hard to palpate externally but if you identify the piriformis, go on to coccygeus, and then just move down a little bit, you should find obturator internus. So once again, locate where you're gonna find the piriformis between the sacrum and the greater trochanter, and then you're gonna travel, find the piriformis. You're gonna slide down into the coccygeus, which you can use a thumb for, and then you're gonna slide a little bit down laterally and you're gonna find obturator internus. And once again, when you're on that muscle, you can just use a very intuitive and sensitive pressure, press down with your thumb, and make sure that the client is comfortable. Here, we're gonna look at adductor magnus. So with these ones, with the adductors, you can get them to bring their leg onto your knee for support, and then you're gonna see in this level of three, you're gonna find adductor longus, adductor magnus, and then a little thin strip gracilis. For adductor magnus, it's one that's really gonna to relate to knee pain and also pain up the medial thigh. To release this muscle, you can travel just off of the quads and you're gonna find right around here, you can get the client to bring their knee towards my hand and relax. And once again, get you to contract and relax and contract and relax. So right around here, I can feel that there is a trigger point. So I'll press down in this area with two fingertips and once again, get this area to relax. For the abdominal obliques, the most prominent trigger point you're gonna find is actually just off the xiphoid process into the lower ribs here in the external obliques. There can also be one as you travel down this line, just a little bit lower into the abdominals. For the trigger point here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the xiphoid process, be very sensitive with your palpation here, and then you're gonna roll off that into these lower ribs. So you're just gonna be on those lower ribs. Now, usually the trigger point's gonna be right around here, but you're just gonna wanna look in this area with very specific palpation, and you're looking to see if you can find something. And with Kate right around here, I can see that there is a trigger point. And once again, follow the same protocol. So use two fingertips. You can even get very specific with this one and try to find the in-between of the ribs and you could use one finger and hold, or if you're more comfortable with two, you can use that as well.